everyone, I'm Clarissa Wallace. I'm a program specialist for A-State Childhood Services. Did you have class rules when you were growing up in school? Me too. Well, today I would like to talk with you about something that's quite different than class rules. Class rules imply that those are the kind of the laws of the classroom. But what I wanna talk about today are class commitments. And those are agreements that are mutual between the teacher and the students in order to keep everybody safe. So everybody agrees on these things together. And I'd like to show you a couple of examples. I wanna start with toddlers because class commitments with toddlers are just as important as class commitments with second graders. So this is an example of one that has just three pictures. We don't have a ton of class commitments on here. We just have three of them with very simple words. So we start already with the toddlers, letting them know that print is important, that these scribbles on the page here, they mean something important, that this is a, a piece of communication that one day they will learn to read. So they don't know what this means now, but the words are still very important. So just three items, watch, listen, be gentle. Now, remember, Children are putting their, when you say these things, are putting a picture in their mind and they process it at least six times slower than we say it. So when we say be gentle, they're trying to figure out in their head what be gentle looks like. But look at this, this be gentle, they're holding a dandelion, I believe, something very, very, very gentle there and they're being gentle with it. Now, the picture is important to plant in their head but how even more important would it be if we had a real dandelion or something really uh, gentle to hold and demonstrate what be gentle looks like. So when we talk about be gentle, we actually want to demonstrate be gentle with children. This is a preschool example of walk, be gentle. These are very simple words, watch, listen, talk quietly. Again, you can use photos of your own students or you can use stock images off the internet like I did. This is just on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and I made this in a Word document. You can make it in PowerPoint, you can make it in uh, any kind of um, program that you would like to make it in. It's very, very simple to make, but I can also email these. I'll give you my email address at the end of this. These are the same pictures, but these are for a little bit older children. These are probably for kindergarten, preschool or kindergarten, um, or, or excuse me, kindergarten or first grade. I will walk, I will be gentle, I will keep my eyes on the teacher. So you can see they're in the form of complete sentences. And again, we're demonstrating how important print is, that this, these commitments, these agreements that we've made together to keep each other safe, we're putting them in writing because it's that important. So it demonstrates that writing is important and that these commitments or agreements are just as important. And then here's an example of the wording for a second grade class or a first grade class. I will walk in the building. I will use my hands to be kind and gentle. I will keep my eyes on the teacher when she is speaking. So these are class commitments that you can use for an older child. You just add more words to it. This is an example of one so that I made the images really small and put the words with it, and I can keep these in my pocket when I walk down the hallway. And I can also have a class book, just print the images bigger with the same words instead of all on one page, and I make a book at it so that it's ready to read whenever we want to in our classroom or when we need to review it. So if you would like examples of these or if you would like to see these uh, in your own inbox, email me at Wallace at astate.edu, that's C-W-A-L-L-A-C-E at astate.edu, and I'll send you uh, which whatever one you want. Just let me know which one that is, and I'll get that out to you. But don't wait another day. Don't say, oh, I don't have time to put pictures of my children in there. Email me and I'll send you these so you can start right there with them, and then as you take a photo, you can plug it in in your document, and then you can have a whole document by the end of the school year. I hope you find this helpful. Have a great day, everyone. See ya.